I am Leah Chase, chef and co-owner of Dookie Chase's Restaurant. I'm 94 years old. I've been in this kitchen 71 years. Every day I come in this kitchen, 7.30 in the morning, I hit this floor, and I don't leave until we close. When guests come to this city, they know when they come here, they're gonna get a good bowl of Creole gumbo, they're gonna get some jambalaya, they can get some good fried chicken. They're gonna get what I serve. And the butter just melts in there and give it all kinds of good flavor. Mm -hmm. Every day I meet new people and they come to taste the food I cook. That makes you feel good. This place back in the day was a landmark. We became a meeting place in the Civil Rights Movement. And so you had always Thurgood Marshall, Ernest Wright, all those big NAACP people. Black people knew they could come to Duke and Chase's and would not be disturbed by anybody. It was illegal for whites and blacks to be together, but they came here. This was a safe haven for all of us. I fed Mr. Obama. He was going to eat the gumbo, and he gets the hot sauce bottle. Oh, my God. I said, Mr. Obama, you don't put hot sauce in my gumbo. Now, that gets around all the neighborhood, and so they said, you told him good, Miss Dickey. Don't be messing up your couple. <laughs> I was recognized by James Beard with the Lifetime Achievement Award. To me, that was unbelievable. Sometimes I said, I don't know how I got here, but it gives you energy to keep going. And my whole thing is to make this restaurant go. I want to be one of the best restaurants there is. <laughs>